वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम 1.11 पॉइंट इलेवन द फ्रेम शोन कंसिस्ट ऑफ फोर वुडन मेंबर ए बी सी डी ई एफ बी ई एंड सी एफ नोइंग दैट ईच मेंबर हैज टू बाय फोर इंच रेक्टेंगुलर क्रॉस सेक्शन एंड दैट ईच पिन हैज हाफ इंच डायमीटर डिटरमाइन द मैक्सिमम वैल्यू ऑफ एवरेज नॉर्मल स्ट्रेस इन मेंबर बी ई एंड मेंबर सी एफ सो यू कैन सी दिस इज द वुडन फ्रेम दिस इज ए बी सी दिस इज डी ई एफ This is B E while this is C F, and they are are made of wood having rectangular cross section two by four inch, and this pin have half inch diameter. So due to this loading, four eighty pounds, you have to determine the stress in member B B E and F C. So let's start with the solution. The first step is uh, that you can see there is a support at point D and A. So, if what if you remove this support, so definitely there will be a horizontal uh, force. Uh, there is there will be horizontal force D E D X in this direction. This is D X, and there will be a vertical force D Y is in. this direction same is the case with a so this horizontal will be ax and vertical will be ay so what we will do is that we will use uh, entire frame as free body diagram entire frame as free body diagram and we will apply equilibrium condition in order to find this unknown so first equilibrium condition that is sum of all for movement about point a is equal to 0 and taking the counter clockwise movement as positive so you can see this force dx and perpendicular distance 40 inch will produce a clockwise movement and another force that is 480 and perpendicular distance is 45 plus 30 will produce counter clockwise movement so their sum must be equal to Zero. So I will write it forty into dx minus four eighty into forty five plus thirty. Their sum must be equal to zero. So from here you will get dx is equal to nine hundred pound. So we will need this. That's why we have calculated. You can also find other. Uh, unknown forces now what we will do is we will use this uh, member d e f and we will uh, show you as free body diagram and the forces acting on it and we'll find that so use member d e f as free body diagram so i will draw it so let this is the member d e f this is point d where you have a horizontal force t x and there will be a vertical force d y okay so dy same uh, this is point e so where you have a force of fbe and this is point f where a force of fce applied distance from d to e is 15 inch while from e to f this distance is 30 inch you can check over here now what we will do is that you can see that this d y is this component and d x is this component so its resultant d will be in parallel to f b e and f c e and if you check that this is fbe and that makes angle theta so this vertical distance is 40 while horizontal distance is 30 so you can find this theta as well so if i write a triangle over here 
so this is 40 this is 30 so by pythagoras theorem this will be 50 same is the case with this and the resultant i will show the resultant of dy and dx which will be this d and they both uh, all these three forces are parallel clear so what we will write is that reaction at d must be parallel to fbe and fce so what we will do is that you can see that this theta is also over here so if you take tangent of theta so tangent of theta will be equal to 40 divided by 30 and that will be equal to 4 over 3 also if you take tangent of theta for this t so that will be equal to its vertical component over horizontal component dx so if i correlate these two equations so what i will get is that dy will be equal to 4 over 3 times dx so dx is 900 so 4 over 3 over 900 so you will get dy is equal to 1200 pound now you have this dy you have this dx dy you can find this fbe and fce so what what we will do is that we will apply equilibrium condition on member d e f uh, so first equilibrium condition is that sum of all movements about point f is equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise movement as positive so about point f the oh, one component that is producing moment is dy into perpendicular distance is 15 plus 30 the second moment that is produced by the vertical component of fbe and perpendicular distance is 30 so i will write it dy into perpendicular distance is 50 plus 30 and it is producing clockwise moment so it will be negative the second moment that is produced by this vertical component this vertical component i will show you this vertical component of fbe and this vertical component will be equal to 40 divided by 15 to be so i will write it 40 divided by 50 into f B E and perpendicular distance is 30 and it is producing clockwise moment so their sum must be equal to 0 now you have the value of dy that is 1200 you can put it in so you will get f b e will be equal to minus 2250 pound most of student will ask how you will get the vertical component is equal to 40 over 50 so if i draw this rectangle triangle so this is 40 this is 30 this is 50 and this component is fbe so vertical component and this is let theta so fbe y component will be equal to fbe sine of theta now fbe is same and sine of theta is perpendicular over hypotenuse so 40 over 50 so you can see this value and this value this value 30 is the perpendicular distance now we will find uh, this fce by using equilibrium condition that sum of all moment about point e is equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise moment as positive so at point e the vertical component of this force will produce movement in counterclockwise so it will be positive and this component perpendicular distance is 15 will produce clockwise so their sum must be equal to zero so dy into perpendicular distance 15 it is minus plus perpendicular distance is 30 and its vertical component will be the same as 40 over 50 f c e here sum must be equal to zero so from here 
this FCE will be equal to 750 pound. Now from this FBE and FCE, you can see FBE is negative, so it will be the member will be in compression, while FCE is positive, so member will be in tension. So if I draw for member for member BE, so if I draw this BE. there is a pin at this so this member is in compression and this force fbe is minus 2250 so stress in be will be equal to force into be divided by area and force is minus 2250 divided by area which is given as 4 into 2 the rectangular section is having area 4 into 2 so when you calculate it will be 281 psi again you can see this member is in compression so we ignore this hole because in compression the whole area is engaged so this stress is 281 megapascal now for member for member cf so what if I draw the member CF like this? There is a hole. So CF is in tension and that is 750 pound clear. Now uh, stress in CF will be equal to FCF divided by area that is minimum. So in the, as the member is in tension so net area or minimum area will be equal to 2 is its thickness while 4 is its width so 4 minus this is total width which is 4 inch and the half inch diameter hole so you have to remove 5 inch 0.5 inch diameter so that will be equal to 7 square inch now you can put the value 750 divided by 7 will give you 107.1 psi so this is the answer of our question 10 .11, 1.11 .11. i hope you have enjoyed this video again if you have any question you can you can ask in comment section and those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and keep watching thank you